Hello, everybody. We're here gathered together uh, today together uh, gathered to today to learn how to make a closed loop with a hydraulic circuit. First, we click on the hydraulic li uh, library. We only have to drag and drop the component. We need a pump. We need the reservoir. We need a double acting acting cylinder. I also will be needing needing the relief valve, and then I go. I'm going inside the hydraulic library. I'm going to the proportional directional valve. You can click here in the branch, and I'm going to use the user defined modeling. In the user defined modeling, I will find a four port valve, which is this one, and it has electrical commands to the sides. Also, I'm going just in this moment erase just the names. Well, the name that I'm not going to use. This one I will be needing late, needing it later. I'm copying the reservoir and attaching my circuit. Okay. First, we double click on the cylinder, hydraulic cylinder. I'm taking my my screen here. I just need a multiple of ten for the for the stroke. Just because I'm, you will see later that, for example, here in the builder, if I'm going to extend the length of this of the body, then if I want to activate the sensor, I click on sensors and activate the linear position sensor. And it's going from zero to ten. That's why I changed the, the 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 stroke of the cylinder to a multiple of ten. I apply of all changes, and there it is. I can attach my valve to the hydraulic cylinder. Now, what I need to do is to look for the controller. We can use uh, an alias for the variable, uh, the, uh, the output variable of the of the controller, and just picking out. I apply changes. Uh, then we can use the joystick just to make a just to make a, a test to know which uh, input variables very quick. We're using the joystick. And the important thing to know is with the valve in the central position, we want it to uh, close the flow to the cylinder in the central position. Because when it sends zero, zero to the output of the controller, it won't send any flow to the cylinder. So to do that, we have to double click on that, on the valve, and we go to we choose the valve itself. We go to a technical specifications branch. And as you see, it is all communicated. It is sending flow anywhere. So what we have we have to do is uh, double click here and changing for this one, which are plugs, and then click on the area flow tab and here we have to modify this quickly in this what we have to do is to erase all those points in the central uh, position the spool travel so from minus 15 to 15 it will we will only have to suppress then I Take the other one. We do the same thing. Minus 15 to 15. We suppress. We take the other one. From minus 15 to 15, we suppress. And we take the last one. From minus 15 to 15, we suppress it. So if we go back to data, it will ask us for save changes. We say yes. And then 
we can click here, for example, on the solenoid, and you will see if we click here in the component images, it will show you, us that we can use, for example, only this solenoid to push back and forward. And to do that, it needs to be uh, set or configured in this way. And we find this minimal signal, mi uh, minimal, minimum signal minus 10, maximal signal, maximum signal plus 10, and it is using 12 instead of 10. But this, is not a, this is not a problem because if we click on the spring, you will see that the maximum force of the spring is 12. So a force of 12 is well, is working well for this configuration. We close it here. Or we can, as we are here, we can go to the variable assignment branch and we can select the input signal to be linked to the controller. We click here and we close, everything is linked. Now, the controller have to compare the two signals and the signals are the set point which is the joystick and the axis, the x axis minus the linear, the linear position of the cylinder, uh, output signal position. We double click on that and then we apply. If we go to data, we will see that the controller is sending plus 100 to minus 100 and we are using only 10 in this circuit, in the, in the logic of this circuit. Now, if we start the simulation, we will see that If I go for if I go for example to five, it will start moving the the cylinder. But let's see where is it located. With we need a linear position here, linear position measurement instrument here. Apply and it's going only to on almost three hundred and it should be like uh, five hundred millimeters. So we need to tweak the PID to get the best of the of the performance. So I'm going to use just you know we have to tweak all the the time the, the PIDs. So I'm going to put five. I'm going to put 1.5 for the integral gain. Um, 0 0.2 for the derivative gain. At least it's going to 500. Then Let's put this to 7.5. It should go to 750 millimeters, and it is going well. So I think we have fixed the problem with the closed loop with a joystick. Someone asked for a closed loop with a graphical variable generator. We're going to do that right now. As you see, I put 2.5, and the cylinder is going to 250 millimeters of stroke. So it seems that everything is working well. So we stop simulation and now we are looking for the graphical variable generator. I can call this variable as I wish. I'm going to call it graphic. And then inside I'm going to use automatic mode, which is automatic trigger. Once the simulation starts, it will be already working. I'm going to use the set point curve. And at the beginning, it will be zero, sending zero. At, after four seconds, it will be zero. So after five seconds, it will be 10. After 30 seconds, it will be 10 at 31 seconds. It will be 5 after 45 seconds. It will be 5 
and at 46 seconds it will be zero and at the end it will be zero something easy right now so we go there we apply changes we go to the data and we we see that the output signal the minimum and the maximum are 10 and minus 10 so it is the same is using the same unit so <coughs> Now we have to tell to the controller to use the graphical variable generator. We double click on the controller, we go to the output variable, and we highlight the joystick variable. Then we click on alias and we we, sh we, s we search for graphic. Now it's already there, we double click there and it has already changed the variable here. We apply changes, we close, we start simulation. What we see now is after five seconds it's going to ten, so it's going to ex the whole extension of the cylinder. And after third thirty seconds it should go back to five to the center. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, we are approaching the thirty seconds. It's going back to five. And I, I should expect 500 millimeter stroke. As you can see, it is working fine. If you need to tweak, you can always click on the controller and tweak the values. And at the end, it's going back to zero. So the closed loop is working well. I hope I hope you have learned how to link variables and how to close to make a closed loop in automation studio is very simple. That's all for today.